Okay, so what makes this round of tech layoffs different from ones we've seen in the past? Yeah, that's a great question, Brad. And the thing to take away about that is that this is a macroeconomic story. The, this wave of layoffs hitting companies is about companies that are getting slammed by rising interest rates. Better, Robinhood, Coinbase. And this is sort of actually a sharp contrast to the first round of tech layoffs that we saw really early in the pandemic. The, I'm sure you guys remember those layoffs were happening at companies that had been massively affected by shelter in place, you know, TripAdvisor, Airbnb, Uber. And that period wasn't very long. It was about three months. Um, of course, these two rounds are not completely dissimilar. They've both been underscored by really difficult fundraising environments. But experts I've been speaking to say that this wave of tech layoffs is definitely distinct. I I'm also curious, and sorry to put you on the spot yeah, here, sure. are these people finding new jobs? And if they are, how quickly are they finding new jobs? Or are they destined to now, with the economy slowing down, be out of work for a while? Welcome back, YouTube, to your favorite brand strategist, Marcus at Work. Now, I'm back in brand and company news. Uh, it's looking a little rough for the tech companies in Silicon Valley. We had a slew of layoffs within a couple of weeks here. Uh, let's let's recount for those that are new to what's going on. We got um, Facebook laying off um, 11,000. You got Salesforce laying off a few hundred. You got Stripe laying off about 700. You got Twitter laying off half its workforce. Uh, and a slew of other smaller companies that are planning layoffs, have announced layoffs in the, in the process of hiring freezes as well. So where tech used to be the place to go and place to be to get six figure salaries and cushy jobs and, you know, coffee and tea and bean bags and all of that while you work now, um, due to the inflation and the cost and, and the, you know, supply chain issues and the stock market economy is kind of tanked, interest rate going up, everything's kind of all over the place and, um, tech companies are starting to fill it. So that means they got to make us, the regular working class, fill it as well. So unfortunately, it does, it's currently affecting over 20,000 people out of the Silicon Valley, California area dealing in the tech industry. Um, and, but it's, it's, it's scheduled to be even more than that. So a lot of people are referring to it as the, um, feeling kind of like the dot com bubble so we don't know if we're quite there yet but in the meantime we are noticing quite a trend with a lot of companies scaling back um i heard amazon has announced um netflix possibly has announced um and a few other companies uh have announced uh possible freezes and uh layoffs so they're in the process uh so i'll get more information on that in order to figure out what's going on to those that have been affected um land on your feet try to do your thing you know reset readjust i know that's easier said than done um but in the day's climate things are just kind of looking kind of grim for a lot of industries and for a lot of people unfortunately so do the best you can take care of your family especially going into these new holiday seasons until next time talk to you soon marcus at work favorite brand strategist i'm out of this bitch